Hello and welcome to my channel. So this is something which I have wanted to sort of tackle on my channel for quite a while. So you've probably you've probably had a look on my channel now. You've probably come to have a look at some of the clips which unfortunately for the last two years I've really not had the best of health and I've had a lot of lot of difficult times and a lot of real I was gonna say mountains, but they feel like towers to get over and problems which sometimes I'm still dealing with, other times I'm not. But recently, which has been the best decision which I have which I have done, and unfortunately there was a time in my life where I was really not well enough to, to be at work. And I think sometimes work can be fantastic at keeping your mind on on something, keeping you occupied and really putting everything into it. Now I work hard and I give everything to all I ever undertake. I always have and I always will. Um, and I love my job, but my job is really, really stressful. So when I'm not feeling very, very well, it can exacerbate some of the issues I have sometimes. At the time of my life, it was really difficult for me to be at work. And I really done it to the point where I couldn't do it anymore for how unwell I was. That was probably about five months I wasn't at work for, and it was a horrendous, hor horrible time of my life. Now, I'm in a completely different stage of my life, and I'm getting there. I've still got problems, and I've still got hurdles I need to jump over, and I will get there. I really will. I keep telling myself that. I believe it's important to stay positive. But going back to what I was saying, and this clip is all about today, returning to work. It's a huge step. But you have to make sure that you're ready and it's something which I was ready at the time and I've now been back at work nine weeks and you know it's it's been incredible to get back into work but you know my first time and I work in that I work in a huge bank I work in a very very busy environment with lots of different staff and lots and lots of customers so of course for me confidence was shattered anyway the problems which I was going through having to walk back through that door the first day I was back was incredibly hard but you know what I'm now looking back on that nine weeks in and I'm feeling so so much better just through being at work it's really helping me deal with the problems which I've got and the things which I may have uh, to deal with in life going forward and I feel so much more empowered by it and I think it's in brilliant so I've thought long and hard and I've actually written them down I'm always one anybody who knows me I'm always one for writing things down keeping notebooks and things I love stationery but I've always kept things written down I thought about this a lot and I thought about this at work and last night very often I wake up in the middle of the night so I do think about things quite a lot I'm a worrier always have been I probably always will which sometimes can cause issues as well but let's get back to what we're talking about so my clip today is about returning back to work so my first one which I have really, really learned, and I thought this is going to be difficult. I've never really been a natural socialising person. But my first tip, and this clip's all about, don't forget my channel, if you're on my channel, it's about me dealing with the bumpy road of life. So the things what's thrown at us, good and bad, how we get up up from these situations. I heard a fantastic saying uh, a few months ago that it's not how we fall down, it's how we get back up. And that's what this is about. So, and I really wanna share these tips, share my experience of this empowerment I'm feeling from returning back to work. And in a way it makes you feel much more healthier up here and physically as well. So my first tip or my first sort of experience I want to share is reconnecting. So if you've been unwell, you haven't been in the workplace, one of the first things is probably you haven't been socialised or you haven't been in your sort of social circle or those people close to you at work. Now, of course, to enjoy your work, where we spend most of our life at work, you have to reconnect. You have to make an effort with those people. For me, it was really, really difficult because my confidence was not there. But of course, when you're working with the general public and you're working within that sort of finance environment and you're in a, a retail bank, you have to put all of that aside. And you have to put your best face forward and you have to get that confidence from somewhere. So my first one is reconnecting. I needed the support of my team. I may not agree with them all the time. And sometimes I don't I agree with different views, but that's what makes a team. Different strengths, different views, different different sort of characters all bringing together. So I really, really made the effort of reconnecting, asking people questions. I might not have felt comfortable doing it, but I really put myself out there these last couple of weeks. And I've really sort of grown as a person, sort of socially, and I've really sort of got to know people, which has been fantastic. New members of staff, staff members who have moved and left and people have come for the day um, and 
it, it's great and I feel really strong and really really socializing it's and it's great and it really helps me along my journey at work and getting better with things as well it keeps your mind sort of on something else you're taking notes of other people and what they're going through we're all going through things in this life life isn't easy <laughs> it certainly hasn't been for me let's put it that way but reconnecting really puts my mind on something else and it helps you stronger when you have that support network at work I have it at home I now have it at work which has been incredible so that's my tip first of all really put yourself out there reconnect and you'd be surprised people want to help people care so really really reconnect let's move on make notes it sounds simple but in my role things change so so much so if you're in a role where things don't necessarily change so much but more than likely it will your first day back make notes I've always been a person to write things down I'm always conscious that I get things on point and perfect of course striving for that can be difficult as well again mentally that can be quite difficult too but for me writing things down helps so for me making notes about different processes which have changed possibly different customers uh, sort of experiences meetings that type of thing you name it I wrote notes about it and then I was revisiting them I was getting stronger my knowledge of my job my knowledge of the company I work for I was making notes through changes which came apparent to me and I really kept going over this so making notes was a huge huge thing for me so revising your own role it sounds silly but time would have moved on things have changed it's a modern world we live in it changes all the time so make notes and revision is my next point I worked hard at it I'm still getting there but you know what I feel much much more stronger in my role and much more knowledgeable and of course through reconnecting with your team working on knowledge and revision and making notes I'm getting my confidence back perhaps not in here but I'm, I'm I feel I'm getting there I feel I really am getting there and for anybody make notes reconnect huge and it will help and it will make your return back to work much much more comfortable my next one forgive me for sort of coming back to my written notes here but i feel so strongly about this i don't i don't want to get it wrong and i want to share my thoughts which i've spent so much time sort of worrying and stressing over so my next one is research links back in with making notes but research research what other people have got up to what's happened in your business what's happened in your role it might well be outside of your role in different departments when you come to have a conversation with your teammates or your colleagues or people higher grade than you lower grade than you and your customers or people who you work with or work for when you've done your research on the things what have changed that will make you in a better place you'll be more equipped you'll be more informative you'll have much more to offer to yourself and to them in confidence because you know what's been happening you'll know what's expected of you you know what's expected of your team and the business and the role you're in so really really for me that was a huge thing going away doing my research and really really putting myself out there taking the time of it be late in the evening sort of weekends after work early in the morning if I'm up sort of I'm up stupid o'clock anyway but if I'm up earlier than that then making time to research is a huge thing for getting yourself back onto that almost on that pedestal where you were at work and for me that was so important to get back there moving on most important time whilst you've done all that hard work you've done that hard work of reconnecting and you're putting yourself out there with people research making notes and you're continuously really thumping away to get back on that full swing drive return at work make time to relax switch off it's very very important and I realize that the hard way I stress a lot I worry a lot and it's only been the last week or so where I've had to make the point because I've been starting to feel quite unwell with so much going on with me trying to stress and get things right with my uh, with my studying going on in the background with how I've been feeling and work relax whether it be listening to music whether it be going for a walk whether it be going out with family mates friends whatever whatever you want to call them sort of twin brother like what I've got taking an animal uh, taking your your beloved pet for a walk um, spending time with you with your animals anything relax switch off it's just important to do and I'm really really working on that so please don't forget that that's the most important thing as well it's good for you it's good for your well-being and it's certainly good for your physical health as well they're all related one big festering knot that's what I've been for months I'm starting to unravel my final final point what I would just like to mention what's got me through is 
good relationships at work. Those people who you work with, managers. I've been very, very fortunate to have an incredible manager and really, really supportive. But keeping good relationships with those around us, whether that be at home or work, is vitally, vitally important. And it really will help you and your recovery and your phased return back into your role or back into your comfort zone at work. Or whether or not you're you're working up the ladder in your role, it will help you get back onto the steps of what you're wanting to move up and up and up. Your return to work is, of course, vitally important. And it's been difficult for me, the main thing being confidence. Put yourself out there. Really, really work to reconnect. Make notes. Research. But also take time to relax. This is all about me coming together with now I'm in a good place and I want to share that. My YouTube channel is all about covering the things which is thrown at me as I keep coming back to, which is on my channel, the bumpy road of life, me dealing with it. And this is how I turn to YouTube. It's great to vent. It's great to really, really get things off your chest and to help yourself with how you're feeling. And if somebody watches this, one person, two people, three, fantastic. I've been there. You've probably been there, too, if you're here watching this. And you know what? It really, really means the world to me that you took the time to watch my clip. Today was all about returning back to work. Next week has been 10 weeks since I've been back in my role, since my horrible experience over the past couple of months. And certainly the last two years have been really difficult for me health wise. And you know what? Just coming back onto it, I've reconnected. I've made notes. I've done my research. I'm starting to take time to relax. And I'm really working on my relationships with my teammates, my colleagues, and best of all, having a fantastic rapport with my manager. I always come back to my family, particularly my parents and my nan, who I hold so close to my heart, and they get me through. But it's important to really be comfortable and happy in work as well, especially for your return to work. So I hope this helps. It certainly has helped me getting it out there. And yeah, I'm confident that in the next coming weeks, following my 10 week point next week at work, I'll continue to grow in confidence and in no time I hope to be back to where I was before these problems started at work. So thanks very much for watching as and you know I, I almost do feel quite sort of in a way overwhelmed because it I never thought I was going to get here with the problems I've had I never thought I was going to get here and I feel so chuffed that I am and I'm on my way to getting there and it's growing all the time. I have problems still, but I, these, I'm these i kind of working on the tools which can help me get there and help me grow and sort of flourish and achieve as a person. And of course, work is so important. I enjoy my role and my return to work has been such an experience. And this clip is all about working on the importance of returning back to work. And if you're in that situation, what I would suggest is really take your time, relax and go through my clip, what we've done today. But most of all, stay positive. And if one day isn't very good or one day makes you feel awful, don't give up. Don't give up. Honestly, it's so, so important to think that tomorrow is another day. You can't go back on that one. So why worry and stress about it? None of us will ever get that day back, but we can look forward and we can learn and we can change from the things the following day. So thank you very much all for watching. And of course, you know, what I keep telling myself is life is a gift. None of us are promised a tomorrow. I read that online recently and I love that phrase. I think it's so, so true of the dreadful things we hear about all these poor people being hurt and harmed. So that's how I try and look at life now that it's precious and it's a gift. If today was awful, move on. Tomorrow will be much better, I'm sure. So thank you very much for watching. I have very much enjoyed my clip today and I really, really thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching. Thank you and until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.